Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do an advanced muzzle flash in After Effects CS6. So the first thing you're going to do is just look at your footage and find out where the muzzle flash occurs. And then you're just going to put the muzzle flash in. This is just a still image that I found online. So just make, trim it down to one frame and then set the blending mode to add. So that looks pretty good. It still looks kind of it's too t transparent right now so so now what you're going to want to do is open up SA Color Finesse 3 you just click on the full interface and go to RGB and bring up the master gain of the highlights and the midtones don't bring up the shadows because that'll bring up your background and you don't want that if you have a black background so then go to HSL and bring down the saturation a bit because bringing up the brightness should bring up the saturation as well. So you want to bring that down again. So that looks pretty good now. Looks, yeah, looks good. <clears throat> so now what you're going to want to do is go to Effects, Blur and Sharpen, and Radial Blur. And set the type to Zoom. And bring the amount up to about... 20 to 25 and what's that going to do that's going to do is kind of make your muzzle flash look more blurry and less defined which will make it look relatively realistic compared to how it was before so now you're going to want to make a new solid and make it white and you can name it whatever you want okay so now you're going to set the blending mode to overlay and trim it down so it's two frames. The first frame starts when the muzzle flash occurs and then there's a frame after too. So now you're just going to set the opacity to zero and mask out all the parts where a light would cast from the muzzle flash. So in this case it would be the chest, the hand, and the face. What bas this basically does, it, it makes it look like your muzzle flash is affecting the environment. So now just play with the feathering and the opacity until it looks relatively realistic and that looks pretty good yeah <coughs> so it basically makes your muzzle flash look like it's changing the environment and affecting it so it makes it look like it's more in the scene <coughs> so now you're gonna wanna bring in a smoke effect So this is also one I just found on the internet. So I have a black background, so I'm going to set the blending mode to screen, scale it down a bit, and just put it to where the muzzle flash occurred so it'll look like the muzzle flash initiated a puff of smoke. So there, that looks pretty good. But the problem is the smoke is kind of hanging in it doesn't look like it's part of the scene so you're gonna want to go to animation track in mocha make sure you're tracking the um, the original footage not any muzzle flash or anything so this is gonna open up a new program called mocha and you're gonna click on that button and find four points of contrast so basically just four points that stand out so these are four black dots that I found on a light switch and what this is going to do is basically track your footage and allow you to place things in your footage like objects that weren't originally part of it so just hit the track button and it looks pretty good so click export tracking data copy to clipboard you can close mocha and make a new null object and just press command V and copy and paste the um, tracking footage onto the null object so now what you can do is you can parent any object that wasn't part of the scene to it so that's what I'm going to do with the smoke so parent it to the null object and then just you can bring in some motion blur if it is moving a lot to make it look more realistic so now it looks like it's sticking now it looks like it's part of the scene when the camera moves so you don't have to do this if you use a tripod but it looks more realistic if you do it without a tripod so now I'm just gonna set the uh, time to 50 because the smoke was a bit slow and that's basically it so thanks guys for watching and 
uh, you can download some of the stock footage in the description. So, see ya.